and I want to share with you this really cool tip that Marie Dene shared at BlogHer16. So this was in a class all about monetization and multiple streams of income and she was sharing how instead of just using like a bit link or doing, you know, the Amazon shortened link or whatever link, you know, crazy long affiliate link you got from the affiliate network you're on, instead of doing that, that you should get a branded bit link. And she, she just, you know, mentioned it. She's like, you just get a branded bit link and it'll look cooler. And basically it's like, instead of it saying like bit.ly or having a big, long, crazy link, you would have it be your company name. So say if it was hydrangea hippo, I might have it be hippo.co slash, you know, whatever stuff I need for the affiliate link. So it's a branded shortened link just for your affiliate stuff. And the cool thing about Bitly is once you do that, it opens up this whole other world of assigning tags to the link so that you can search them and it will show you how many clicks they have. It's a really great way to organize your affiliate links and also check on their performance instead of like using a spreadsheet, which is like what I was doing before, or, you know, just willy nilly throwing affiliate links out there and not tracking the performance of them. This way you can know, like, do my people like this? Do they not like use that to make better affiliate choices in the future and make more money? So here's how it works. First, you're going to go get a domain name. So go to something like GoDaddy and put in your domain name. So I'm going to try this one and sometimes they'll have like they'll already be taken or things like that. So I ended up finding one. It's already in my cart. So I'm going to go over to my cart. You know, once you find one that you like, so here I'm using tmintb.com. This is for three mint balloons. And um, I like GoDaddy because you can get usually every month they have a sale domain names for 99 cents. So if you're going to do something like this, this is a great you know, if you're going to do the custom bit links, this is a great way to get an affordable domain name. So I'm going to go ahead and do checkout and enter all my info. I'm going to pause it for this because you guys don't need to see all of that. But basically, you just follow all the prompts, enter your info and your credit card number, and you are good to go. Now, once you've purchased your domain name in GoDaddy, you're going to click on Manage My Domains. Now, if you're not using GoDaddy, just whatever host you're using, um, you don't need to buy hosting for this. You're just buying the domain name. So whatever service you're using to buy the domain name, you'll click on Manage My Domains from there. You're going to go and click on Manage DNS. And from here, this is where we're going to uh, change this A host area to work with the custom bit links. So you're going to go to Bitly. I'm going to click on Login. Actually, I want to create an account sign up. So depending on, you know, what, if you're going to use Facebook or whatever to log in, or you can just create a password and a username, you're going to fill all of this out and then click create account. Now, once you're into Bitly, you're going to click over on the little menu button and click on settings and then go to advanced. And from there, there's domain settings and you're going to click branded short domains. So from there, we're going to add a branded domain and it tells you all the steps. Well, we just purchased the domain name and now we need to set up our DNS and we're going to make our um, A record point to the Bitly servers. If you don't know how to do this stuff or like maybe yours isn't called like ours is a host. That's the A record, right? A and then this just says host. If you can't find that on your service that you used, you can call them to walk you through. This is why I recommend GoDaddy because you can call them. They don't treat you like you're a moron. They're super nice and they'll totally walk you through everything. It doesn't matter um, if, you know, they'll take the time to talk to you and on all of that. So your host, you're going to put the at symbol there. Um, on GoDaddy, it already comes with one. Well, we don't want that. What we're going to do is change it to one of these name servers or one of the servers for Bitly. One of these numbers is for Bitly. And we're just going to click one hour and finish that. So we're going to go ahead and save changes. Now you need to add both of the records. So I'm going to add another record. This is going to be a host at symbol points to, and I'm going to grab the second number from Bitly. One hour. Whoops. Okay cancel and save changes. So now they're both here and I can check over here on bit.ly that yes, those are the two same numbers 
And then my branded short domain, I'm going to go ahead and add it here, tmidb.com, and then I'll verify. Okay, it has an error. So sometimes it takes a little bit of time for this to work. So uh, give it a few minutes. Usually they'll say it takes like 25 or 24 hours, 48 hours for the changes to set in. But what I found when I did it was it only took like a couple minutes. So let's see, this is the domain name is tmintb.com. Let me make sure I did it right here. tmintb.com, verify. So if you keep getting an error, you're going to need to wait a couple hours, try it again, and or just wait the 48 hours and verify it. So let me show you what it looks like once it's already done. So I'm in Amazon getting a link. I want to use this printer, and I'm just going to click the little drop-down arrow to get the link. It's a big, crazy, ugly link. Then I'm going to go over to my bit.ly. I'm going to click Create a bit link. I'm going to paste my long URL. And it's going to give me some options. And what I'm going to do here is customize it as HP 5540 so that I know that that's what the printer is that I'm using. I'm click save. How is that bit link taken? <laughs> HP 5540 print. Sometimes you got to try again, try again. So there is my custom bit link. I'm going to copy that link. And now in my blog post, I'm going to link that. So I'm going to go ahead and go link that. Make sure it opens in a new window. And then, you know, of course, on the back end, you're going to want to go in there and code it as, you know, a no follow. So I hope this was helpful for you guys on how to do custom bit links. I want to share one more thing about um, how to deal with these. If you click edit, um, there's a whole bunch of different cool stuff here, but I like tags. I can add a tag to this. So I'm going to add the tag HP because it's something I would use if I'm working on HP stuff. So depending on what your relationships are with brands or if you do certain things like I have here cleaning and kitchen because those are some of the things that I talk about on my blog. So I create a tag HP and apply. And what's cool is now I can search for the tags and it will pull up everything with that tag. So say I have a couple hundred bit links in here, it's going to be hard for me to scroll and find what I need. But if I just type in here HP, it's going to come up. See, because of the tag. There you go. That's a really handy way to organize all of your links. And you can see right here, here's the tag. Keep them all in one place. And now you have a nice branded URL for your affiliate links. So it looks a lot more professional and it's just another way to take your blogging game a level up. So I hope that that was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions or opinions or ideas, or maybe there's some kind of hack you do for affiliate links. Leave it down in the comment section. And I'm also going to leave a link here to a tweet that I sent to Marie Denae to thank her for sharing this awesome tip. I'd love it if you guys went and retweeted that if you use this uh, tip that I shared here because she's the one who share this information and I'm just showing you the how to. Thanks again for watching. Bye.